Welcome to rural France, where we're here to celebrate the Citroën du Chevaux. Actually, you probably spot fairly quickly that we're not in rural France because the budget wouldn't stretch to it. However, we are here to celebrate a magnificent piece of French machinery. And here to join me is everybody's favourite Francophile, Monsieur Alex Goy. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, Monsieur. Comment ça va? Bon. Comment t'appelles-tu? Uh, je voudrais une pamplemousse. Ouais. I don't actually speak French. Me either. Anyway, so why? Why 2CV, Rich? Seriously, I could be driving supercars here. This is a supercar and we're going to put it to the test. We're going to put it through the same four tests that this vehicle was originally designed to perform for French peasants way back in the 1930s when it was first sketched out. So you're going to have to trust me, it's a lot of fun. I am used to driving less peasanty things, Rich. Normally supercars with big engines and, and stupid doors. Stupid doors you want? Stupid doors I have. Come on, I'll show you. All right, come on then. Oh, this. <laughs> Now the first test with this car should be capable of being driven by a French peasant wearing clogs. Okay, well, I don't have clogs, I have boots. Yeah, I've got clogs. Okay, right. Oh, then. by the way, you're gonna need a crash helmet as well, because just for safety purposes. Uh, I have felt prettier. <laughs> Your foot is almost, you know, like heel and toe. <laughs> you kind of heel and toe, brake, clutch, and accelerator, all with the same clog. I, there. I can do it in one clock. These clogs are remarkably comfortable. The stink. Can we have the window? <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Ooh, Cap the, grid. <laughs> <laughs> the original of these only had nine horsepower. This is a top spec model. This is a 1980s built car. This has 29 horsepower. Whoa! Yeah. Well, we're doing 15 miles per hour now. It feels like 1500 miles per hour. <laughs> This can be driven in clogs. I think it passes the test. It passes the test with some aplomb. Second test for this vehicle was that it had to be able to take four French peasants to market carrying either a 50 kilogram sack of spuds or a keg of beer. Okay, so what do we have? What do you think? Of course we've got a keg of beer and uh, there appear to be only two of us. Do we yes. have others? Yeah, we do. We have got Robin, the faux Frenchman, Robin, we're down a person, so we'll have to bring in cameraman Matt. We're off to market. How, how, do, how do the guys look in the back, Rich? Do they look suitably miserable? <laughs> They're like wedged. We're going left. We're in second. Hang on. Come on! Yes! yes! <laughs> have some of that. There is a definite effect of, on, the, on the performance with some people on board. So that said, 35 miles an hour, Rich. Yeah, we're really flying now. Okay, break, we're in second. Break. Well, I've got to break a little bit. Whoa! <laughs> we have passed the test. Now, now, peasants, go and sell our beer. So the car had to do the equivalent of 78 miles per gallon, which frankly is a big ask. Obviously fuel was rationed, fuel was in short supply, peasants had no money, so it had to be super economical and that was achieved by means of, hang on, cattle grid, that had to be achieved by means of using very frugal air-cooled two-cylinder engine that originally only had nine horsepower, so no power, no weight, should be able to do 78 mpg. What gauges do we have here? Uh, we have a fuel gauge, which even though we've done several laps which have been quite strenuous on the engine, is still reading over full. We have more than 100% fuel. There's no real way of knowing how much fuel we've actually used because there's no trip computer because it's an old car, and also the early versions of these didn't even have a fuel gauge, they had a stick which is stuck in the fuel tank and measured the depth by how wet the stick was. See, so the, the fun thing about the 2CV, and Sitchin was, was a bit worried that no one would buy them, but people went mental for them. And the, there was at one point, it was actually more expensive to buy a used de Chauveur than a new one because you could get it quicker. This thing was enormous in its time because it literally got France moving across horrible fields 
and to market on very little fuel, though like probably not 78 mpg. In order to be able to do 78 mpg, you have to be able to do 78 miles, and I'm not sure that you're going to want to do that today. One more test to go. Correct. Test number four is the biggie. And you're going to be driving for it. Here we are. That's a basket of eggs. The car should be able to drive across a ploughed field with a basket of eggs with not one being broken. Because remember, this is a car that was designed for peasants to transport their wares from farm to market. You're a bit of a bugger. You will quite happily throw the eggs out of the window just for a giggle. So I, as an added piece of uh, jeopardy here, right. I made a little mini Alex there, you see. I'm touched. And that he goes into the basket and therefore you can't smash my eggs for a laugh because it's important now because it's you. I'm taking your abuse all day today and I'm uh, <laughs> quite looking forward to sending you home with egg on your face and egg on your trousers. And we're in the field. We're in the field. <laughs> oh God. Whoa. Jesus. No. <laughs> Oh, oh you bro is that broken? No, I'm okay. My little face oh. is fine, look! <laughs> oh, God! Jesus! <laughs> so we've driven across a field. The eggs have survived. Yes. The MPG, the gauge went up rather than down, so we don't really know whether it passed or failed. We got our peasants to market with our keg of beer. On time. On time. And I managed to drive it successfully in clogs. So essentially, the 2CV has stood the test of time. Even though it is very much a car of its era, it's quite easy to drive, it's comfortable, and it fulfilled its purpose. The De Chauveur is a bon chauveur. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be riding dirty? Can you be riding dirty? Je suis un homme, je suis un homme. Bonjour, je m'appelle Petit Alex. Et yeah, je suis dans le Citroën de cheveux. Oh, je suis fatigué. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Oh.